Hello. Hello, folks. Oh. How are you doing? Are you okay? If not, then I hope you feel better soon, wherever the issue may be. And, um, you know, if you, if you ever got, um, if you're feeling down and all that, you know, don't be afraid to talk to your friends or, you know, talk to someone. So, um, but apart from that, if you're having a, you know, apart from that, you know, if you're having a great week, whatever, you know, I hope you are having a, a great week and I hope you're doing well. And, or even if, if it, or if so, um, uh, I hope you feel better and I hope you feel, you know what I mean? Either way, I hope you have a good one. So, I'd just like to say also, while I'm at it, Welcome to all the new subscribers. And actually, I noticed we had some more people join us, and it was like epic, nice, more, or more. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, all week I've had trouble getting my words out. What that says, we've got more, more awesome people joining. Wicked. So, as the title uh, illustrates. This is five scary ghost videos to take your mind off things. Now, you and I know, folks, the only thing that's going to do that is if once it's going to give us a chicken, make us vomit, scream in fear, make our hair go white. Not that you know it's for me because I bleached it. But you know what I mean? We need, you know, because don't forget, we, we, some have been, some some channels we reacted to, um, they are good, aren't they? The, one, the ones I pick, they're good. But the problem is sometimes, you, it's, with any hint, don't you ever hit and miss with the videos? But some of them like, meh. Some are like, come on, that's fake as shit. And there's some where it's like, ugh. And mind you, the thing is, don't get wrong, even sometimes some of the fake ones are good. You know, if, if they're, if they make you go, ugh, or, you know, just make you, you know, feel, feel you know, a bit sick, whatever. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, they work. Um, they're still good to watch. So this channel is one of the ones we've uh, we've been to before. Depths of this depths of despair. Do you want to watch freaky deaky content that makes you shit your pants? Then go over to depths of despair. Right, so we will see something that's gonna make 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 us like no, was it red dwarf, the brown bulb, the brown was it brown alert brown bulb? I haven't got any brown bulbs, but you know. What I mean? So let's do this, shall we? Yeah. So yeah, anyway, we've got some more awesome people join us, and I'd like to thank you for subscribing. Um. I'm actually quite, I'm quite chuffed about the, because uh, I know a lot of, uh, and what well, I say is, you know, not what, what's, what's the term? Yes, yeah, like bear with, you know, bear with me, because I know some of you like, like more of my reaction videos, but it's kind of like, the what I like, because people say, because um, I haven't really said the story much. Yeah, I should keep doing it every so often so people know my motivations. But you know, people say to me, "Oh, dear, you're really funny," or you know, "You're you're quite entertaining," or "Weird enough to be on TV," as it were. Um, okay, I don't. I'm not funny enough for my videos, but um, I think I need to rectify that at some point. I'm gonna have to start writing some real sketches and stuff. Um, the thing is, I've had people for years say to me, "Oh, you should be on TV, etc." I mean, I am good at impressions, but to be fair, they've all gone crap now because I'm, I haven't been practicing or doing them in years. And you know what it's like, you haven't been doing them for years. I just used to lose them. <clears throat> Although, don't get wrong, some of them might actually do really well by accident. Like Christopher Walken, I could never do Christopher Walken, but if I'm in shock or surprise, it works. Um, but basically, the direction I wanted to go with the channel was to do different things like reactions, uh insightful videos like with information because i have a passion for various subjects and things like that like the occult history all kinds of things important political things i don't want to get too political but 
you know, if there's a group like I do the LGBT stuff because I am part of the LGBT community. But is it anyone who get? I mean, I don't. I can't stand any group of people getting bullied. You know what I mean? Um, so, but anyway, so it's a mixture. It's like a TV channel, if that if that makes sense. Hence why it's called the Tristan Channel. And obviously, because I, I don't see myself being on television, um, well, in a positive way at least. You know, it's bad to be someone who wants to probably just use me as fodder. Um, but as you can tell, during the recent crappy years we've had with the pandemic and that, um, everything's been digital. Everything's good. and the thing is, to be fair, though, lots of things have been streaming. So you've got, believe it or not, you can actually add YouTube. If you look and think about it, TikTok, people use it as entertainment these days. Uh, all the streaming services like Disney Plus, Netflix, etc., and YouTube and TikTok. So it's kind of like, well, if everything's, going, if everything's on your phone these days, if I can't, if I can't. If, you know, if I can't make it to the big top, big leagues, then I can entertain and do, do something I enjoy on the thing. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You can see where I'm going with it. So, <clears throat> so yeah, so I want to like a mix up and that. So, so that's, anyway, let's go. Hopefully, we shall get some turkey. And what I mean by turkey, I mean that's like beyond chicken. That's where you get, ow, something bit me. When you get like chicken on top of chicken. Top 5 Scary Ghost Videos Caught on Camera The Excavation Site A man works on a private excavation site which starts above ground and spans all the way underneath. The location is undisclosed but the poster is Vietnamese, so it is likely to be somewhere in Vietnam. He says that he often finds himself doing the night shifts, working on the excavation site alone at night. And every time he does, he starts hearing strange noises and creepy sounds, but can never locate the source. Take a look. I'm sorry, but if that's in the cave, I'm not sure if they still use demolition charges, but wouldn't you go, you're right, get, you're like, find a hole! Have that. <laughs> bye bye, boogeyman. You know what I mean? You'd chuck a block of TNT down there, wouldn't you? Like, screw that. Do not go down there! It is cursed! I've got chicken on my legs. I could be an animal, to be fair, but... Don't you just hate it, even if nothing happens, don't you just hate it when the camera does that? Even if it's fake, because it builds up tension, because your brain... I think, I find that your brain... Oh, chicken on my legs. Sometimes I give myself chicken, because my brain, the way it is. But your brain's more creative, isn't it? So it's like... Which is quite funny as well, because when you think about it, when people fake stuff, you kind of think to yourself, really? It's like, where did you get your ideas from? Nickelodeon or something? You know, you know what I mean? It's like, because I'm pretty sure it's in our heads. If we put that in video, they'd be like, they'd be like puking and vomiting everywhere, wouldn't they? The thing as well, I'm not saying, you know, it's underground in the cave, so you probably can, as it can be an animal, but when you think about it, it's like, for example, um, there are, uh, what do you call it? Blah, 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 blah. Dig me, you know, dig, uh, you see building sites, you probably see it on the, the shorts, the YouTube shorts, where it's like, uh, wonderful human being saves dog. And, um, oh, my light's still skiing. And, you know, they, they help the dog get out of the hole with the um, digger. I don't know, I'll stick that one on. I'll get blind for a bit. I've been wearing uh, special glasses during the day to stop blue light and stuff, so. I'll try not to blind myself. Ah! But, um, you know what I mean? So, but obviously, what I'm getting at is obviously if you uh, have open sites, digging sites, all kinds of things like that, then things are going to cr creep in, like raccoons, all kinds of things, and get trapped or hurt with it. He gets out of the vehicle to take a look around, but finds no sign of anything out of the ordinary. 
the next night the dark he was bloody cave man and things got even worse Ooh. Oh, oh no, oh, hello, hello, oh, I've got chicken, I got cheese, they're multiplying, and I've got turkey skin, not sure if you remember it, but so, this is, did that sound, if you, if, if you know the videos, not now, if there's, if, if you remember the videos, I think it was in Japan. You, you, yeah, you know the one on my mouth. That, that was like that noise he heard outside his house. You know, he goes to investigate it. I mean, the, what's worse is he did. He actually had one in his bathroom like years ago. I reacted to it, and that really, nearly like messed me up because it's literally he put a camera inside his bathroom. And it was like, ah, it sounded like someone's got stabbed in his shower. I was like, I need to shit myself. But that, if you remember, if you know the one I'm on about, that is that noise, isn't it? It's that, oh my God, it's that, oh, it must be a common spirit. If, if it's real, that must be a common spirit because it's the same noise as a, a, a spirit in a, another location. Uh, uh, That's about to drive off your digger, mate. Well, I'll just... why is it they the do sounds this? seem to stop shortly after he gets out of the vehicle, but he never finds anything mm. around. Many viewers believe it's a gin or a skinwalker looking to lure the man towards it. But just what do you think? Let me look. Come on, stop with the stigma towards gin. If you look at the mythology, gin are just like people, good or bad. Yeah, but I was gonna say saying acid, but. It's like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? It's, um... Yeah, I was going to say something else, I forgot. But, yeah, come on, people. I mean, look at the, look at Aladdin, you know. Genie, gin, that's a gin. I mean, that. I know the original story that the genie was a bit conniving, scheming, or whatever. But, you know what I mean? But they're like people. No, down below. Oh. An old school. Oh, that was it, I was going to say. What's this thing about the way they... I know they're probably scared, but it's the way they do the camera angles and sway the camera around. I'm like, I wouldn't be going that slow. I mean, okay, probably, it depends on how he's looking and stuff, but I wouldn't be fucking about. You know what I mean? I'd be like, I'll be like, what the fuck? I'll be trying to home in on it. You know what I mean? That just makes it worse, especially for the shape people. You know I mean? it's like, well, for me, it makes, it makes it worse for us, doesn't it? Because we're like, come on, man, don't do that shit. Because, you know, pants to the dark bit. Like, it's like, stop it. You know what I mean? Oh, the next cool. video comes from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill. Oh, sweet. In the video, Chris sets out to explore the Robert Fulton School, located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Unfortunately, over the course of many years, the enrollment numbers of the school began to decline, eventually leading to the place closing down in 2013 and being abandoned. Upon entering the building, Chris explores for a while and everything seems well. That is, until he has a very chilling encounter. Uh, as I said before, oh, okay, that does look a bit like a shit tip. But I was just saying, you know, and I'm, I'm, saying, I'm, I'm saying this again because we've got new subscribers in. What he's just saying in the past is like, don't you also find it, um, don't you find it, like I did, a bit tragic that there's a lot of these bit abandoned buildings that and a lot of them do just sit there, as you know. You know, you probably live next to some of these. They just get abandoned, and it's like you got problem with housing or whatever. It's like you could use these buildings again. Yeah, you know, before you know, I mean, look at the state of that. I mean, that's bad, obviously. But if you actually get to them, I was, oh, mind you, if the walls are all right, if the foundation, the walls are still right. If, in theory, you could still refurbish it. Um, well, it must, but you must be able to because if they could do it to historical sites, you know what I mean. But they could use these buildings, and it's a shame. Some of these buildings are beautiful, and some of the designs are beautiful. And it's a shame that they just let them dilapidate because you can convert to hotels, rooms, houses, education. You know what I mean? All kinds of things useful. Reason closely. Reason. Look at this. Well, add six roadshow special.
can be a, can be a, a, a weirdo bastard. Ow, what's that? Imagine something about that from out dark. Here goes there. Oh, imagine if that went boosh. Like, <laughs> oh, don't you give me salt chicken. I mean, the temperature's dropped, but I, you know, it's quite quite hot next to the, the machine, the TV. Oh, and stuff, so Those vinyls on the floor. Cool, if I can fall through the floor. I thought it was a second move there, but in the doorway. See, that's big enough to make it into a flat. Well, I don't know, can't tell by the scale, but I mean. What's that say? Don't explore this alone. <laughs> Don't explore alone. The thing I always add to these sort of things, though, there are some places that are supposed to be notoriously really bad and got skinwalkers and demons and all this stuff. Uh, you know, allegedly. And I'm like, yeah, but there's loads of people there who've had parties in there because there's litter and crap and graffiti. I'm, I seriously doubt you'll be Oh, there's a demon in here. Get the fuck out of here. Excuse me, French. You mean? Uh, no, I need to finish my work of art. It's like, seriously? There's people throwing parties in there. Like, lighting like fires. Doing whatever. And doing graffiti. It's like, it, it can't be that haunted. You know what I mean? You would, it would be like, unf you'd have an unfinished bit of work and a spray can. I know it sounds cliche Hollywood. But you know what I mean, though? No? You don't mean anything. Peace, love, oh. Keep out. Huh? Keep out. Oh shit. Problem is, why does that look like a badly handwritten note? I'm not saying he wrote it there, but you know what I mean? Because he just explores stuff. He's not a paranormal investigator. He just explores bad buildings. Oh. I would open that door fast. I wouldn't go, eee. I'd go, caca. Because if it's like nasty behind that door, you don't want to find out a slow way. Because if there's someone in there, you'll put the shits into them if you kick the door. So it'll buy you time, like shock factor. Ooh. Yeah, oh, I hope it's not urine in the bottle. What was it? Oh, peach juice. Yeah. Fucking Jesus Christ. <laughs> I didn't see anything. I mean, but fucking hell. Oh, man. Was he taking a dump? <laughs> but you know, that's like, oh, my God. See, that could be just as worse. Um, you know, the thing is, people go, people do say, Oh, it could be a it could be a squatter and this, that, or the other, and things like that. But yeah, we, I didn't mean, just because sort of squat doesn't mean they're bad. You know what I mean? But <clears throat> um, but still, that's a, that's more dangerous, isn't it? Having you know someone there, right? You know, people are more dangerous than ghosts. A ghost would chuck a brick at you, sure, but but you know what I mean? Yeah, you know I mean, mm -hmm. he's selling something. Shit! It's all my windy. Oh fuck, get the fuck, don't turn around. Don't turn around, run. 
They do that. <clears throat> I'm not saying to. I'm not saying this is necessarily fake. <clears throat> Sorry, I do apologise. Um, hay fever, I think, summer. Um, literally, every every all you know, clogged. But it's like um, they do it in fucking Hollywood. It's one of the things that annoys me. It's like you would not be that stupid. There's certain ones that are, I mean, like I said I'm not saying his ones are fake. I'm not saying they are. I'm not saying they are. Um, <clears throat> but it's like the ones that are fake. Apart from the really bad acting and the bad effects, they always go back to the scene. It's like if your friends like that one. Oh yeah, one of the videos the last reacted to. His friend was allegedly possessed. His friend, his friend, trying to try and kill him. That's like you wouldn't go back in the fucking building. You know what I mean? It's like, oh yeah, I just walk back in the building and get killed. It's like they do it in horror films, don't they? They go back in the thing, or they go, oh, there's an axe wielding psychopath. He may be in the building, and they go find looking for the guy. You get the fuck. You buy yourself as much stuff as possible by getting the fuck out of there. And he just turned around. I would not turn. I, mean, I would. I would turn around and see if he's not chasing me. But I wouldn't stand and go. I'd be like, right, he's not for me. You know, even if it means taking my bloody shoes off, using my pants or my top as a parachute. I'd, or, you know, if I can make it ramble for. You know what I mean, I'll just get the fuck out of there. I wouldn't piss him out. Keep running. Keep running. After hearing a bang and going to investigate, he's... I will also turn the camera off. I won't fuck around the camera. I'll just run. ...stumbles upon a door that looks like it was barricaded. As he goes around to check it out, he has a terrifying close encounter with somebody who was present in the closed-off room. Not willing to risk it, Chris just runs and decides it's time to get out of there. Now at one point, while exploring the building... He unknowingly captured a dark figure walking into one of the rooms. So perhaps this was the same person he encountered, or could it have been something else entirely? I know this if this person's homeless and they've got not much mind you, because probably why they, they barricade that room up quite extreme, isn't it? Because to be fair, yeah, you need a place to stay, but why choose a really creepy ass place to stay in? You know what I mean? It's probably why he barricaded the thing up it's like uh, he probably heard noises he probably put the shits in himself either way you can see that humans are far more scary than any ghosts if you have any video recommendations you can oh. send them over Ooh. to depths of yes. despair business <laughs> at gmail.com in my home oh man the next video comes from the tiktok user win mc picks who we have featured once before in the past the owner of the account has been having some bizarre occurrences inside his house. Lights would flicker on and off and rapid banging can often be heard coming from different doorway. You were. <laughs> Sorry. And even scaring the little boy in the house. Oh. Days like today are no fun. No fun at all. Is it real? Yeah. Oh, hang on. I hope it's not the one I think it's because there's one where... They look, they secure the door and then they pretend it's locked. It's like, oh, quick, you know what I mean? It's all basically faked. It's like they got their mum to be the shadow bastard or whatever. Can I get it out? Oh. Stay there. That kid, though, has got balls of steel. Mind you, you wouldn't be left, like, like, left upstairs while dad checks out. They always, you know, you always stay next to your parent, don't you? But to be fair, though, in defence of the people, some of these content creators, if it is fake, I mean, why would you fake it to scare your child? Because that kid ain't acting. That kid's that genuinely upset. And um, I'm not saying you can't, you don't get people out there like that. Um, but you know what I mean, though? Because if it's fake, then it's sick because you're scaring your child but if it's genuine then it's like that's you know no one likes to see kids scared it's okay but after a while the activity calmed down until just recently when his pet cat passed away ever since then the paranormal events have returned even stronger than before on one night he captured this on the outdoor security camera Oh, 
Oh, wow. It disappears and there's a flash. Out of shape. It's Friday, for God's sake. We're not going out, are we? A mist like figure can be seen moving across the path, even setting off the motion detection floodlights. It turns around process. as well. We can also hear a dog around, constantly yeah. barking as if it were reacting to the presence of something. A few nights later, the repeated knocking around the house would get worse. And so after attempting to record it, he captured something undeniably terrifying. So I don't know if you're going to see what I'm seeing, but <laughs> this is on repeat. Might get triggered by if he says. If, I'm not sure if it's the, the um, if it's this channel or Dark Knight Horror, but they come out with some nonsense. I might as well say because hey, the thing that irritates me is. A lot, well, there's also this idea that people have as well. It's like, don't open if you if you've got someone like some supernatural force knocking on your door, they're like, oh, don't let it in. It makes no difference if you let it in or not. If it wants to haunt you, it will haunt you, right? It's like knocking on walls, anything like that. The whole idea is to generate fear. It could be indoors already, it's gonna lap on the door, it makes no difference, you know. To coin a term from the mummy, the mummy films. Don't worry about that. Mummies don't use doors. And it comes bursting. Through. Ghosts don't... Oh, yes. They, they've just come from different dimensions of existence and planes. Of... A wall and a wooden door is not going to stop them, is it? Think about this. Think about this. I'm not saying you, but you know what I mean? These people who say this shit. You know what I mean? It's like... They say, don't answer the knocking. Don't open the door. It's like, if you open the door, you let it in. It's like, yeah, it's the door. It's a ghost. It's a ghost, man. Go yes. <laughs> it's a ghost. A ghost just goes walk through it. This happens over and over. <gasps> and then the knocking. Oh. The knocking. There it is. And it just goes and goes. That looks fake, but I've got chicken. Until you don't stop. Oh, look at that. Can you stop, please? Uh, look. <laughs> look at that. Fucking it's dots and right we actually there. see the dots. That's turkey, man. That's turkey. That's okay. Oh, look at that. Take a piss. He's using the PC. I'm going to look up your browser history. See, look. The ghost went Whatever out. Whatever you are, you door. gotta go. Yeah, that's. But you got free Wi Fi. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Goodbye. A shadow figure can be seen manifesting and entering the room right when the knocking starts. See, uh, my problem. Uh, see, here's the pro This is why I get. There's certain channels that. I'm not saying this is necessarily fake, fake, nah, but here's the problem. Here's the problem, as I'm sure you'll agree, and that is that. Sorry, I'm just pulling. Um, uh, socks up, no. but um, it's kind of like <sighs> the people who fake it. They seem to take the same template. So the problem is, it's kind of like when you see that figure, like a figure walk across the screen, it tends to be like the same shape. And the problem is, always people, people, you know, that could be, say, this time round, genuine. But the problem is, we think mm, it looks too much like the, the software people. You know what I mean? That's my only issue. Well, these things, you know what I mean? These video, uh, not these videos, but people faking stuff. It's kind of like really makes it just ruins it for everyone else. But I'm uh, because of these those videos, I'm finding it hard to trust that shadow figure because it looks too much like something's being done on a computer. But when he goes inside. The door slams shut all on its own. But if you're faking this, you're Later scaring your child faking night, it, so it would get even which is worse. Nasty you know when he say? sees this. It is oh. right there this time. Hello? 
Hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, that's really weird. I mean, I've seen this footage before. I've seen that. It wasn't. Can't explain that, but Sank made me want to go fuck off. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that don't. It can still be fake, I don't know. But I mean, the thing as well, if you if you were to fake it, if he did fake it, then he should be ashamed of himself because he scared his kid. But if you all got dressed up in black and sat in a chair, you would actually startle a dog or, you know what I mean? It's like. It's like how in videos where they prank the dog, you know what I mean, like a werewolf costume, the dog's like, what the fuck's that? You know what I mean? So, it'll react to someone dressed up as well in the same way, but let's just pretend this is genuine for a moment, it's like, you know what I mean? No, stay like, there. Oh. Hey. Oh, my God. See, the thing that's a bit suspect about it is the way it fades out. Hmm, I don't know. I hope it's not fake, because if it's fake, then it's not nice because he's upsetting his kid. It's just a scale. What's saying about it that makes you think that's been super, I don't know, superimposed? Dude. Fucking hell, okay. dog. It's okay. Once again, a shadow fig. I think it's just instinct, because when people spot, because dogs will bark at anything randomly, right? And I think it's just that PTSD of sitting at home. And it's like. You'd be sat there, be watching like you know, Nick. Uh, what no, was it? Inspector Frost. You know, just nice, quiet, relaxing evening, and a noise, random noise, activates your dog. It's like, Roof! you end up launching out of the fucking chair, like, Roof! what the fuck is it? Shut the fuck up, dog. You know what I mean? It's just that. Well, the dog, dogs, animals. Known, this just, time, even more clearer than the last you know I mean? one. Like, and we can hear the dog growling Past at memory. it Ooh. as if it's on high alert, being disrupted by so looks like a kid presence. Been Early out, one morning, he catches something high. coming from the basement. Lie down. Go lie down. It's okay. Lie down. Stay. Give me a biscuit. I've been doing this all morning, and I don't have time for this today. It's... Stop. Hey, buddy. We. I don't. I got too much going on. You got. Also, if you're doing erratic, erratic movement around the kitchen, that will that that thing as well. I just remember because because I used to go, I got a dog now, unfortunately, Nelson. But any if you if you move sporadically around the kitchen, the dog's literally barking because he's like, "What are you looking at? What are you looking at?" So that so when you fake. Let's just say he is faking these videos. That's how that would act, actually cause the dog to react that way because the dog's like, what, 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 what? You know what I mean? As well. I cut it out. I'm not saying he is faking it, but you know what I mean? Oh, shit. You know, if you've got a dog, you okay. know. Okay. I'm just going to set it up here for towels and we'll just let the phone roll. Oh, was that? I heard knocking. It was in the window. If you gotta go, or you gotta come downstairs, or something, wherever you're gonna go, you gotta go. Calm down. He's okay. Please, not today. Oh, shadow bastard. Just, holy cow. Shut up, dog. It's not even my dog. Shut up. <laughs> Little buddy. You can see. Oh. Of the activity seems to be coming from the basement, and the shadow figure seems to be lurking down there. So perhaps the answers he seeks can also be found in the basement. Is this a real ghost caught on camera, or just an intricate ruse? You it could judge. be, but it's not. It could be again, but again, if you if that is fake, if that's fake, someone should go around here and slap him, slap, slap him with a a loaf of bread. Shall I tell you why? Because it's anyone who fakes a video that involves scaring their children, that's that's messed up. Especially if you want to do it for views. I mean, seriously, traumatize a child. And if the kids are not in on it, give the kid a bloody Oscar for acting. I tell you. Oh, it's my knee. Yeah. To learn in the house. 
Not alone. TikTok user Franco Viegas from Chile claims that he has been experiencing intense oh, here we go. events inside his home. I see this he channel. says that he has been having oh. sleep paralysis and would sometimes catch a glimpse of shadows moving around that he just couldn't explain. It's this one. I know. <laughs> oh, hello, hello. It's oh. If this is fake, it's really cool fake stuff. But you know, it got so bad that he said something actually bit him on the back in Kinky. his sleep. As a result, he decides to set up a home security camera Behave. to record himself while sleeping. Oh, I've got. That's a weird place to get chicken. I've got chicken all over my legs. A strange figure seems to appear on camera, but somehow it manages to go unnoticed by the dog who just sleeps through the whole ordeal. He continues to record over the next few nights, and three days later, something pulls his bed sheets off. Hey, 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 steady on, love. But that's just the beginning. Two days later, something starts knocking on his bedroom door. Bueno, son. Son las. Because when you see it, if you, if, you, if you haven't seen it, grudge comes to mind. That's all I can say. Oh, la la rona. But, you know, steady on, love. Did you see the bed covers there? Steady on, love. See, that's... that. See... <laughs> I know what few of you are going to say. My missus does that to me when I don't pay enough attention. No, because I just got this thing in my head where it's like she climbs into bed next to him like Ghostbusters, Ray sort of succubus thing, right? And because he won't wake the fuck up, she's like, Arr, wake up, you. I want to get frisky. Arr. You know what I mean? I know. I'm terrible. If you like the same humour as Deadpool, my brain is dirty like Deadpool's, yeah? Okay? That's all I've got to say that. If you like, And if you love Deadpool, we're going to get on well. And if you can cope with the humour of Deadpool, Monty Python... Anything that's a bit risky and dark as well. Anything like that. Anything that's going to make you laugh and wet yourself, even though you, some bits you shouldn't laugh and wet yourself because it's wrong. We're going to get on fine. Las una de la mañana, casi. ¿Cómo estás? Y nada, para ser concreto, como ven, no tengo audio ni, ni música en el video porque <coughs> nada, me golpearon la puerta muy fuerte, muy fuerte. Y estoy solo. Despertamos todos, todos los gatos. You're telling me he didn't feel safe with his cats around. He decides to change the angle of the camera to point towards the door as he sleeps. Oh, here we go. Here Five we days go. pass by without any disturbance. But on the sixth day, while Franco is sleeping, Something utterly horrifying is captured. Hey, we got against cats. Oh, oh god, here we go. Here we go. Oh, here we go. I'm getting chicken figure back, so I think I know what's coming. Oh, look. Uh, oh, I've got chicken on my thighs. Imagine waking up to the that. camera shows the door open by itself. I mean, look at that. I mean, that also tried to climb in bed with him. I mean, sorry. I mean, <laughs> the behave. Stop it. I was just thinking, no, I know what you, I, yeah, come on, come on. I know what you're thinking. I'm going, yeah, look how hideous that is. And you're thinking scary movie too, aren't you? I know. Paper bag. I know. I know what you're thinking. But, but, but yeah, but imagine that. Let's just, let's just, let's. I know I'm the one misbehaving, but come on, let's let's just come on, let's just behave, be interesting. But imagine though, seriously, waking up to seeing that, you'd shit yourself, wouldn't you? I'd actually get, I'd get sank from the bed, fucking lob it. You know what I mean? 
But you know, I mean, no, you would like, you'd nail that door shut. You would, I right, jump out window, sell the house, whatever. You know what I mean? And then what looks to be the pale face of a woman is seen peeking into the room. Of and I know some of you are say, oh, it looks like my ex. I know, I know. After watching the footage, Franco's heart immediately sunk and chills filled his body. Stay so he decided to seek help from yet? his viewers on what he should do about the spirit in his home. One of his viewers recommended some form of seance where he holds a lit candle up in front of... Oh, that's right. Pull your pants down and lube yourself up for anal penetration. I mean, come on, man. Why the hell are you doing that? Well, that is that a quote from Snatch or Lockstock? I can't remember now. But you know what I mean, though? It's like, why? She's already climbed into bed and bit you. <laughs> she likes to bite, does she? Hmm. All righty, then. Go with these dashers. Oh, they make them like anyone. Shake a car. A mirror and attempts to make contact. I know that was terrible, but I used to read really do it really well, okay? Give me, give, come, with, come with some slack, man. Come with some slack. And with the entity. Estoy solo acá en el baño. Bueno, me dijeron que he traído una vela y un espejo y voy a poder hablar con ella. Amiga, por favor, te pido que me dejes solo. Te lo pido, por favor. Oh. Once again, the same figure can be seen just mere seconds before he showed the bathtub is empty and him alone in the room. I don't see the. I can't remember if I've seen. I've seen the shower bit, but not the ritual bit. Stop joking. And you, you, there's another joke. Another force. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so she's climbed into bed. And obviously he wasn't interested, so she bit him. And now she's like, hee -hee, and she's in the shower. She wants him to get in the shower. On another night, Franco is filming himself taking turns playing with each cat. Angle sitting. When he is disturbed <laughs> by something terrifying. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's actually going to see it further. Oh, oh, I've got chicken on the back of my head. Don't look at me. Oh, come on. Do you want to see? Oh. She's like, don't look at me. Close the door. I'm going to. Hey, hey. How about you? Uh, no way. There's no cut either. I'm going to do money. Franco ceased uploading shortly afterwards. And it is unclear what happened to him after Even this. Even the cat looked in that. So is it, Franco's like... house really haunted? Or is it just a simple ruse? You be the judge. Mind you, let's, let's just explore the multiverse of possibilities and say he did fake it. For those who don't know his channel or seen his clips before, he lives with his mum. I'm not saying his mum looks hideous. But she could have done something with her hair. You know what I mean? She could. They could have both faked it. Because. You know what I mean? They could be in on it. So. I don't know. But if it's fake. It's freaky. It's still freaky as F. But. Um, if not. Then yes. Hmm. She can't make up her mind though. Can she? It's like. Don't you. Look at me. Don't look at me. Get in the shower. Sleep with me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. Like, but yeah, if it's that seeing, I could think about it being fake. If it's a ruse, um, he does live with his mum, so I'm not stereotyping. I'm just getting, yeah, doing a bit of Sherlock Holmes Holmesing. Yeah, people of those climate, that area of the globe, a lot of them have dark hair, so it could be his mother pretending to be a grudge bitch for the videos. You know what I mean? Because also, what does make me think it could be a sort of ruse is, don't get me wrong, we all love cats, but a cat will go for it. Cats don't fuck about. Dogs will be like, what the fuck's that? And shit and put or fart. A cat, you can tell why the Egyptians loved them all, why they had them in, no, 
you could say it was like the mummy it was like the mummy film like you know a cat would be launching through that door I mean there's some other videos you watch where paranormal ones where the cat goes fucking through the door it's like I'm gonna fucking have you you know the cat is literally is like I'm gonna have you fuck. ghost bitch eyes out you mean but it's funny that cat doesn't react in a scared way it kind of looks and if it recognises the people you know what I mean I'm just saying I'm trying to explain if it is for rules you know yes <laughs> yes just, just moved in, moved in. The next video was sent in by Dylan Vensel. Dylan and his fiance. <laughs> Hello, Brian. Say had just moved into a new home on April the 29th, located in a rural See, area accident. of South yeah. Africa. He yeah. says the nearest people to them are farmers, oh, I love but they are houses. over 500 meters away from their house. Ever since moving in the house, things had been fairly great this far except for some strange and unexplainable noises that they have been hearing from time to time. On Sunday, 28th of oh, May, they dumb. heard a strange noise and decided to investigate. I don't want to see your butt. Oh, it's coming from. Oh, sorry. Where is he trying to say the sound's coming from? Could it be a draft? I know, I'm just saying. Could be a draft. Why do the dogs cure us? And dogs can sort of the way weird way differentiate your stuff. That's why freak out. They look up the roof and go, "What are you looking at?" Was that the thing banging or him banging? What gets me? It sounds like some kind hang of. Hang on, hang on. How is he so calm? Stand there. I mean, okay, there is that argument that you know, if you live in a haunted house, you get used to it. But he's just moved in. He's just moved in. You go. You go. Can you hear that? <laughs> haunted. You'll be like. Listen, guys, I'm going to try not to shit myself, but could you let me know what this fucking noise is? You know what I mean? Not go. <laughs> Animal or Surely creature shit groaning yourself. or breathing can be heard coming from around the house. After searching the entire property and even climbing onto the roof, they you know found so nothing that could explain so the strange blase. sound. Blah, there. And they have also heard some other noises. So what exactly could be going on around the house? And does the land have something to do with it? Hopefully, we'll get some more updates yes, soon. Looks as all. <laughs> That's all for today, guys. But if you like this video, subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you never miss an upload. And with that being said, you can follow the original Depths of Despair on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Oh, well, See you next time, guys. Well, that was good. I mean, oh man, that that, that, that one with the guy that that's, that made me jump because it's like I couldn't see the ink. You know, when he opened that curtain, and the the the, the squatter was like, it's not like he was having a shit or a piss or something. And he just went disturbed. He was like, oh man, come on, man. Um, but yeah, I mean, some of that. I mean, the one the the one peak around the corner. I mean. Oh, that's the thing is, if these, I mean, the one with the kid, like I said, I hope that's not a fake because that's just so mean and horrible to do to your children. I don't care if you want content or not, you just don't do that. Um, but yeah, that, 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 oh, that, every time I see it, it, you've probably seen it before as well, but 
I guess you every time that wouldn't it? I mean, just imagine if you wake up to that. And you know, and if you watch back to the video and notice it's climbing in your bed, I mean, kinky jokes aside, you know, you've got some creepy, hello, darling, <laughs> climbing into bed with you, I mean, and biting you and stuff like that. It's like, that would, you, you, you wouldn't go back to sleep that bed, would you? I'd be getting salt. I'd be putting salt at the door. For, that's the other thing. Is, can I just get off my chest? <clears throat> I'm not saying I necessarily believe that it works, all this sort of stuff, but because I study the cult, why is it? It never occurs to anyone. Because I say to do it with windows and doors, it's just put salt. You get, you know, they, like sometimes you make a protective circle out of salt. Put it in your fucking door frames. You look at all things. You, you just got. You, you don't. If a cleansing doesn't work, or you, and because it's it's literally it, when you think, I want you. Oh my god, by Jove, by Jove! I think he's. I think I just saved a lot of people hassle. Think about it, right? Smudging and cleansing. You have to buy the stuff. Salt. It doesn't have to be. Salt is salt, it doesn't have to be, it's the same chemical composition. I know it's slightly pure if it's sea salt, but let's not split airs about it. It's not going to lick the floor. I know I'm joking. Um, but, you know what I mean? You just go in and get salt and go, hee, and then, you know I mean? Sorted, mate, sorted, save yourself some money. Get a bit of table salt. Put it around your windows and doors. Save you lots of money. But yeah, but yeah, that got a good time. Oh, get chicken and turkeys and... Oh man, oh yes. Brilliant. Thanks for watching this with me. Thanks for seeing for us. Let me know which bit's your favourite, uh, which bit gave you the chicken, if you got the chicken, and let me know, you know which bit did you find unsettling. Was it, I mean, just put the fake and the real aspect or factor to the side. What bit creeped you out more? Was it the Urbex Hill where he comes across that guy going, Aah! or um, the Grudge bitch? And what would you do in those situations as well? What would you do? <coughs> 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 oh, my pipes are all clogged up, me. That's what she said. So, anyway, thanks for sitting through all this, watching this with me. I hope you liked it. Again, let me know your best, your favourite parts of that. What made you shit a brick or unsettled you? Um, I find it to be fair. I like, I, 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 I like to. I should really add actually. Uh, again. Uh, to new subscribers, that um, because I grew up watching Hammer film, I watched Hellraiser at a very young age. These days, that would be frowned upon, but I watched Freddy Krueger, all the stuff that used to shit people up. I watched at a very, as soon as I could watch TV and comprehend what's on TV, where we are four, five, or six years old, I started watching horror. I watched Hammer cl classics, and um, thing is, Hammer, when you look at it now, I think, oh my god, look, post paint blood. The thing about Hammer horror films is they had the concepts and the depths to the story or the, the thing. They worked on your fears, the psychological. You know, but I grew up with some really fucked up shit, and I include even in the gory stuff. And it's so uh, I find it very hard to get scared now. I mean, I get chicken now, but it's usually because of more what goes in my brain. You know, I mean, it take I I, don't, I get I, I may get chicken, I might get a bit settled, and, uh, but I'm not. It takes a lot to scare me. If it makes sense, I me. Mean, but, uh, yeah, if they're saying that they're unsettled you or made you jump or think, oh, my God, then let me know in the comments below and let me know what you would do in those situations if you had something like that in your house. Uh, personally, I'd say to her, look, love, you tried to get me in the shower, you tried, you climbed in my bed and bit me, what is it you want, love? Um, <laughs> uh, 20 quid to 20 quid. Um, you know what I mean? So, anyway. Thanks again for sitting here for watching me, and like I said, let me know your best, your favourite bits of it in the video below. And also, go over to, if you haven't already, go over also um, to Depths of Despair, and check out the rest of his content, and subscribe, and do the thing. And if you're also new, new to this channel, and then, same, same here, you know, join this awesome lot, that's, you know, join, join this awesome crowd. And, um, also, hit, 
hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on the upload. So anyway, as always, thanks again, and f again, thanks to all the p new, f new the new subscribers for joining. It's great to have you here, and um, with that, I shall see you next time. Sleep tight. <laughs> <laughs>